Welcome to an introduction to Speleology, Part 1, Caves Rock, presented by Lincoln Caverns and Whisper Rock. A cave or a cavern is a naturally formed opening underground large enough for a person to enter and explore beyond the reach of light. There are more than 17,000 caves known in the United States, and hundreds of new ones are found and recorded each year. Most are undeveloped or wild caves, while less than 150 have been prepared for visitors and are open as show caves. Pennsylvania alone has over 1,100 map caves, seven of which are open to the public. Within a day's drive of every living American, there are likely caves which no man has yet reached the end of. There are different types of caves all over the world, some formed by lava from volcanoes called lava tubes, some caused by wind erosion called wind caves, and some formed by ocean waves carving out the rock along a rocky seacoast known as sea caves. But the most common type of cave is a solutional cave or one which is formed when water underground dissolves the rock around it. The most common type of solutional cave is formed in the rock we call limestone. Lincoln Caverns and Whisper Rocks are limestone caves, as are most of the caves in Pennsylvania. Today we will discuss one aspect of speleology, the study of caves, how solutional caves form in limestone. When we venture into the darkness below the surface of the earth, we can see the results of the timeless labors of nature. Man has been exploring caves for thousands of years and brought back many questions. Questions like what formed these caverns and what caused the colors? These questions were able to answer. But the most difficult question to answer about a cave is how old is it? In order to answer this question, we need to go back almost to the beginning of time. Caves in the United States are thought to be only a few million years old, but the story of caves and the limestone that surrounds them goes back hundreds of millions of years. The earth looked quite different then. At one time, this part of Pennsylvania was covered with shallow seas. These Devonian seas were here 415 to 365 million years ago. In these oceans, there were strange forms of light that used the lime from the seawater to form their shell homes, such as trilobites, which is now Pennsylvania's state fossil. As these animals died, they settled to rest on the bottom of the ocean floor. Thousands became millions and millions became billions as their shells grew deeper and deeper at the bottom of the ocean. Under the pressure of the ocean water above, these shells and plants were crushed and pressed into the rock we now call limestone. Limestone is a sedimentary rock or one that forms in layers. We often find fossils of ancient sea life in limestone. The limestone in which Lincoln Caverns is formed is estimated to be 375 million years old, formed during the Devonian period. 
many years ago, 325 to 260 million years ago, our continents collided with tremendous force. North America and Africa collided to form the supercontinent Pangaea, uplifting huge masses of land from the ocean floor. In this upward movement from the seas, the land carried with it beds of limestone that were eroded and fractured as they were uplifted. This is the beginning of our Appalachian Mountains. For many years following this uplift, the earth was pelted by torrential rains. The rainwater first passed through the soil above the limestone, picking up carbon dioxide. This resulted in an acidic solution which spilled into the cracks and crevices of the rock and went seeping down into the heart of the limestone, completely filling the cracks and crevices with water. Aided by the acid it picks up from the soil above, the water begins to slowly dissolve the limestone and widen Cracks into channels, channels into tunnels, and tunnels into rooms as it continues to move downward. Then the water drains from the cave rooms and is replaced by air. After the water drains from the rooms of the cave and air enters, something even more exciting begins to happen. Rain and surface water enter, bringing in minerals from the limestone above, which crystallize when they come in contact with the air in the cave, forming many different varieties of cave formations called speleothems. Let's review the process of formation of solutional caves in limestone. Water combines with carbon dioxide from the soil, forming carbonic acid. This acidic solution reacts with the mineral calcite in the limestone, and over time, the slowly percolating water dissolves the limestone forming caves. This process can continue for millions of years and can be stopped by only two things. A lowering of the water table or the formation of air passages in the cave system by wearing away of the surface. When caves get too large to support the ground above, they collapse forming sinkholes. The resulting topography is known as karst terrain. Karst makes up 20% of the continental United States. Caves are all unique and different and come in all shapes and sizes. The longest cave system in the world is Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. The mapped length is now 415 miles. The longest cave in Pennsylvania is just 4.13 miles. It's Harlinsburg Cave in Western Pennsylvania. Of the 1,100 caves in Pennsylvania, only 11 have a map length of over a mile.
The deepest cave in the world is Krubera Baranja Cave in the country of Georgia. It is 7,208 feet deep, 3.65 miles. Our deepest Pennsylvania cave is Laurel Caverns in Fayette County, the southwestern part of the state, and it's 484 feet deep. The largest cave chamber in the world is in Sarawak Cavern in Malaysia. It's larger than seven football fields. In the United States, the largest cave room is the Big Room in Carlsbad Caverns National Park, New Mexico. We invite you to stay with us for just another moment as we demonstrate how you can make a sugar cube cave at home with some very simple supplies. Here are the instructions and there's also some more information on our teachers area at lincolncaverns.com. This sugar cube cave will demonstrate how caves form when the water carves out the rock, or in this cave, the sugar cubes. Thank you for joining us today, and be sure to watch part two of an introduction to speleology, Crazy About Caves, The Growth of Speleothems.